My name is Sarah Kilroy, and my concentration is whales and things to do with the sea. So I picked this concentration because I really liked how like whales were um, like fluid, and um, it seemed to really fit with ceramics because when you make things in ceramics, um, most of the time they're like um, circular or spherical um, and have a lot of curves to them. Um, and so I thought that fit really well with whales. And I just have a certain love for whales. Um, they're like my favorite animal. We were on vacation in Florida and we were at this museum and they were having a movie about um, humpback whales. And so I was going into this, I was like, uh, whales are really boring, this is gonna be awful. And I came out of it with a love of whales. And <laughs> every time I got into a pool after that, um, I was making whale noises and like splashing in the water like a whale. Um, and just the fact that whales are so graceful and like, calm and they're also just so giant is like amazing and it's really fun to think about so last year i did um a ap art concentration and this year i'm doing a 3d art concentration the difference is it's really easy for like paintings and drawings to get exactly what you want but for um 3d ceramics um everything comes out differently than what you want. Like even this, I thought it would be really easy to make, but it took almost like two weeks just to get the tail right. Um, and so, and all the colors have turned out completely differently um, than what I thought they would turn out. And so that's been sort of a struggle because I could always get what I wanted from uh, AP art. And then for this 3D concentration, it's a little harder. With all of the pieces here, except for this one, this one is a spoon, I hand built this one, but the rest I did mostly on the wheel. Um, and so uh, the wheel is basically a spinning pl uh, like plate where you get to um, make a ceramic form that's more circular um, and it's a lot easier than hand building. And so all of these pieces um, started on the wheel and that is why they all have this um, spherical um, outer shape and um, and then like this one I hand built on top of it so the bottom I built on the wheel and then this I built with coils and slab um, which ended up giving it a whale tip um, and with all of these, I built on, except for this one, um, with uh, different forms, like with uh, coils or slabs, um, to make it something different than just um, like a mug or something, or a vase. So ceramics is a class where you basically get to work with your hands all the time. And although some people might think that's like a bad thing and you're going to mess up, um, there's so many ways to make something that you love um, and even mess up and make it great. And um, it's a great way for me to like de-stress because I love art. And um, after a like stressful morning, I'll go into ceramics and then I get to relax for 30 minutes and just make what I want. If you ever think that something is too hard to try, Go try it anyway, because even if you fail, something will come out of it. And you'll either learn that you probably shouldn't try that, or maybe you should try it again, and it'll become better. Concentrations are really hard to focus on one thing, but it's kind of fun. Like right now, I'm taking a break from my concentration. Um, and so I keep coming up with like more whale ideas while I'm taking a break. So like with anything, like be it art or even just school, like taking a break, um, might help you with ideas in the future.
My name is Hannah Smiltis, and my art is bookmaking. I chose to do bookmaking uh, last year, and um, I didn't really know what to expect, but uh, I found it to be a very kind of therapeutic crafting, um, and it's a very easy class, but it's very enjoyable at the same time. Um, so I do all different kinds of book bindings. Um, book binding is where you take any kind of paper or kind of pages that make up a book and you find a way to attach them. And there's different unique ways that you can do that. So for example, uh, this semester I did an accordion book binding and it pretty much, there was no cutting involved, but it was like in a, you, it was folding. There was a lot of folding. Um, and then there's, um, there's standard book bindings um, where you just add designs to it. So to sew the pages into the book, you're able to make different stitches. So I did a series of those, and with each book, I changed the pattern. But at the same time, they all went together in a set. So my favorite project is probably going to be the one I did this year. Um, and that was my ocean. Um, almost like it opens like a window into the, uh, into the waves. And I, I really enjoyed this one because it let me go out of just the normal instructions on how to build a book. But I got to use my own creativity in it. Um, for example... Uh, there isn't this many blues that you can really buy. Um, and so we used a combination of the ink from regular like Crayola markers, um, water, and then Crayola paints to slowly get the deeper colors. So the more water I would add, the lighter the blue would be. And so that's how I got the differences in blues. Um, and I'd say that's probably been my favorite. And I like how you can open it as though it was a gate that you could close. I think people should take book binding um, first because it's not something that you're ever really going to do later because all the materials Mrs. Galbraith has. Um, and she instructs the class in a very fun and inviting way. Um, and it's not a normal class that you would find in any other high school. So it's just like any other elective of like ceramics or I think Mr. Stoll did a study, like learning how to study elective. So it's kind of a hidden elective. Not many people know about it, but not enough people took it this year. So that's why I'm doing an independent study. Bookmaking is not a very popular class um, because not many people see it as an option or they don't know what it is. Uh, the class is called bookmaking, so a lot of people probably interpret that as you write a book. <laughs> That's not true. Um, it's a lot more enjoyable than that. It's a nice class that you can go to and rewind after going to all your other classes and receiving homework from them or having tests that you have to study for. So it's a way that it's not just like a study hall, but you can stay busy and still relax in a comfortable environment.